Uh, what we're doing today is just a very straightforward CT guided drainage. As you can see, there's a big collection here uh, in the right upper quadrant. This is a complication post partial cholecystectomy for a necrotic gallbladder. Uh, there is a surgical drain, but it doesn't seem to be working, so the surgeons have asked the patient to be sent down to us for a percutaneous drain. As you can see, this uh, collection starts to track down inferiorly. So what we're going to demonstrate today is getting into the inferior most part of that collection with a percutaneous drain. To do that it'll be the same technique as you've seen before where we're starting outside the plane of section. So the actual point of entry in the skin is going to be down here somewhere. We'll then track the needle up through the skin, subcutaneous uh, muscular layers and then pop into this collection under direct vision. So we'll be doing that real time in fluoro. That's the plan. Okay, so we've just uh, got the patient in position, single shot tap of the pedal shows this position. We've raised the patient up so she's nicely in the middle of the gantry. Uh, this is where our collection is. We've just organised some zoom. So if I tap the pedal again, then that'll come up showing us the level of zoom we've got at the moment. We're running uh, 40 ma, 4 millimetre slice thickness. That's probably a good set of numbers. Just. Uh, free float the tabletop down a little bit and have a bit of a think about exactly where we're going to go in, where the laser cuts to achieve that, and that's probably all going to work. Okay, excellent, let's go. Okay, small amount of skin prep in the usual fashion. Uh, we'll turn that in a sec, not just yet. How are we going, Mental State Department? Um, she's talking to me. Despite the 40 millimetre mercury millimeter pressure loss. Okay. Oh, no, that's all right, that's fine. Okay, so the current situation is we've given 50 micrograms fentanyl, 2.5 milligrams midazolam IVs. Lady's still talking to us despite dropping about 40 millimetres of mercury systolic pressure, but we haven't started doing anything beastly to her yet, which will almost certainly increase her blood pressure. Okay, standing by for local anaesthetic. So I'm just having a think now about where the inferior extent of the collection is. So where I want to enter that. Just lay the 25 gauge needle across the skin in the usual fashion. Some complications here that I've got a stoma site that I'm trying to avoid as well. If we come down in that direction, so basically the purpose of this is to get the position on the clock face that we're going to come in in the XY plane. But simultaneously I'm contemplating how much further down towards her feet we need to go to start so that when we angle in the needle tip will arrive roughly where I want it to be. Local anaesthetic now stings a bit. Just administering the local anaesthetic and have a quick look see to see if that's well received or not. Gives me some idea of how much more sedation, if necessary, I'm going to want to give. The lady seems to be quite comfortable with that. Okay, so the drain we're using here is the same as we've used before. This is just a standard eight French self-retaining drain comes with a stiffener using a 15 centimeter 18 gauge cheaper to go in we'll be running a 0 0.035 145 centimeter benson wire through the needle once we're in position okay so we're now angling in from below we've put local anesthetic in here we're just giving a little bit of extra fentanyl screening now as we go and we can see the needle start to appear and we know where the inferior extent of the collection is. So we're just moving the needle tip, pulling the patient back. just on top of the collection at that point. Now 
and we're in. You can see the guide wire looping around inside the collection. So the guide wire is not free floating so maybe this collection is somewhat gelatinous we may not get as much out of this drain as we might like which would explain why the surgical drain is not working either sometimes collections are a little gelatinous and you can't actually tell until you try to drain them percutaneously we've given the balance of the, of the fentanyl at this point so we've now got a hundred micrograms of fentanyl 2.5 milligrams midazolam on board Just running a six French dilator. Because we watched as the needle tip went in, we know where we are with respect to the anterior abdominal wall structures. Quite happy with that trajectory. See the dilator there coming in following the guide wire around. We'll just swap that out for the eight French self retaining drain. tension on the wire as we advance the drain. It's got a wider window. Much wider, take it out at 1500. Okay, so you can see the drain there. formed up in a loop. So there's our drain. I have a fresh 10 mil syringe. Oh, sorry, I've got that here. It's right. I was lying. And as you can see, we have the yellow top jar. We're getting back old blood. Not the loop. So we lock that drain in situ. Just 
Got a free float. Confirm that we're happy with our drain position. And we'll see what we get. Okay, now we're going to do is just attach the drain. Very straightforward business. This drain's attached now by multiple means. It's a self-retaining drain. What that means is when I pull on this thread, that brings the end of the drain around into a loop. Uh, that stops it pulling straight out. Uh, and that's locked by this being turned so that little black triangle faces the word lock. To unlock you can turn it the other way but the easiest way to get a drain like this out is just to cut there and pull the whole thing out. That cuts through the thread, cuts through the body of the drain. Okay, in terms of we then apply a little suture just to, uh, as a sort of belt and braces manoeuvre to hold that in situ. Uh, we're using this 2-0 silk which you can use the self-cutting needle to cut. Do a little uh, reef knot at this point. just to form a little stable bite that stands off the skin. Then we do a so-called Roman sandal tie. So it's a series of, you know, the spoo just starting to come out the end of that. So we'll just grab the manifold tubing, otherwise we'll have gunk all over the place, which we don't want. Okay, so we just throw the threads behind the drain, bring them back out on top, then it'll half turn snug that up fairly tight, not so tight that it occludes the drain but not so loose that it'll slip and do that several times, maybe half a dozen or so of those little bites will be enough to ensure that this will not slip. But if you move that al along so we're spanning about a centimetre of drain here then we've got multiple bites in the course of one centimetre. At the end of that we just tie that off with a series of simple hand ties just to lock that off, grab the blade, cut the thread. Next step is a drain fix. Now we, with respect to the application of drain fix there's a couple of issues. First of all we need to just clean the skin so that the um, drain fix will actually stick because it won't stick to betadine prepared skin. So we just need to a little bit of mucking around here and as you can see where we've gone in is inconveniently adjacent to an existing drain site, so we're going to have to just work around that. Okay, so when that's all, take the sterile drape, sterile surface of the sterile drape and just pat the skin dry again, the same principle. Drain fix won't stick to betadine, drain fix will also not stick to wet skin. So the situation we're going to cheat a little bit and overlap the stoma bag a bit with our drain fix. Like so. Peel back the adhesive coverings. That little thing gets folded over the end. Those little tabs fold over like so and at the end of that we grab a gas permeable but waterproof dressing and cover the whole thing. Smith & Nephew IV 3000. It's got a crease in the middle which we line up on the middle of the drain fix. And if we're careful, it's a bit crowded here with the stoma bag in place we can get everything to more or less sit how we'd like it to sit. Okay, attach a drainage bag to the end of that. Nice and firmly. And check, this is not one of those drainage bags which gets shipped with the tap open. Some manufacturers ship them with the tap open, so as soon as you attach the drainage bag it then starts to spill stuff all over the floor, which is not such a good look. And we're all done.